Hello and welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions. I'm Ron McKenzie Lafergy. While black holes remain something of a mystery to astrophysicists, every year we understand them more and more. It could be that eventually we will fully understand them, but would we ever be able to make our own? Let's explore. If you're itching for more science stuff after this, check out the biggest science questions playlist on the channel. Now get ready, it's time to ask the question, could you create your own black hole? First of all, we should touch on how black holes are created in the first place. For a more in-depth look, check out our video, How Do Black Holes Form? Most black holes are are the result of a particularly massive star dying and collapsing onto itself, becoming so incredibly dense that nothing, not even light, can escape its pull. Obviously we can't cause stars to implode in a lab, but is there another way we could achieve this on a smaller scale? Since no light escapes them, we can't directly observe black holes. Instead we look at their interactions with other astronomical objects. This means that we haven't observed any small black holes since they have little perceivable effect. But that doesn't mean they can't exist. Some look to the Large Hadron Collider as a possible instrument for creating black holes but many scientists believe this to be highly unlikely. It could be done through the manipulation of particles with very little distance between them. This distance, known as the Planck length, is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 35 meters, roughly 1,020 times smaller than an atomic nucleus. Unfortunately, this would require far more energy than the LHC can handle. Estimates vary, but some believe that this could require anywhere from 1,000 to a quadrillion times more energy than the Large Hadron Collider is capable of. There have, however, been some rather promising developments in this area area, involving Hawking radiation. To put it simply, Hawking radiation refers to the release of virtual particles from black holes, theorized by Stephen Hawking in 1975. In a black hole, virtual particle pairs are constantly being created and annihilated. However, if this occurs particularly close to the event horizon, one of these particles may escape the black hole while its partner stays inside. This is theorized to slowly shrink the black hole as it loses energy bit by bit until it disappears. To test this, physicist Jeff Steinhauer created something of a sonic black hole in a lab. By cooling helium to just above absolute zero, then speeding it up, he created a barrier through which sound wouldn't be able to pass. In the case of this experiment, the quantum fluctuations produced packets of sound called phonons, analogous to the virtual photons believed to be released by black holes as a result of Hawking radiation. However, in performing the experiment, Steinhauer noticed that certain sound particles were able to escape his sonic black hole. This sonic black hole could prove to be a useful step on the way to creating a true black hole. But this brings up an important question. Would we even want to create a black hole? As the Simpsons learned in Treehouse of Horrors 13, feeding a black hole can have pretty disastrous consequences. This was one fear held by some when the Large Hadron Collider was about to be turned on. They feared that it could create a black hole that would doom us all. And fear of black holes is not unwarranted. Believe that one the size of a coin could destroy the Earth. While the LHC didn't end up being the undoing of humanity, the intentional creation of a black hole could be. Thankfully, most theories for the creation of black holes involve holes much smaller than a coin, which would pose little risk to the planet, as they would likely die out rather quickly due to Hawking radiation. However, there are certainly things we could learn by creating a black hole. All the black holes we are aware of are extremely far away, making it very difficult to study them. Most of our observations are based on the actions of objects around them, rather than properties of the holes themselves. Creating a small one in a lab would allow scientists to study it in a controlled setting, and to glean important details that otherwise couldn't be observed. And now we return to our question, could you create your own black hole? Well, from what we can tell, it's unlikely to happen anytime soon. We have some ideas, but the energy requirements are far too great at the moment. While it could be risky, the risk can be mostly negated with a small enough hole, and it could be incredibly beneficial to our understanding of the universe. Thank you for watching Life's Biggest Questions. I hope this was interesting and informative, and maybe even inspired you to look into it further on your own. If you like this video, please thumbs up and subscribe to the channel down below. While you're down there, let me know if you want a black hole of your own. Until next time, I'm Ron McKenzie Laferti with Life's Biggest Questions, wishing you the best of luck on your quest for answers.